Elon Musk calling out the supposed laptop class for working from home. Now Martha Stewart and Google executives, the latest to critique remote work. Martha Stewart stating you can't possibly get everything done working three days a week in the office and two days remotely. Look at the success of France with their stupid, you know, off for August, blah, blah, blah. It's not a very thriving country. Should America go down the drain because people don't want to go back to work? Google also cracking down on their work from home policy will now consider office attendance during a performance review. So I was very surprised that Google went there and treat new requests to work remotely full time as exceptions to the norm. Back with Batya Unger Sargon, Ali Breen and Cenk Uger. Uh, Batya, you've been talking a lot about um, economic issues, right? And this is an economic issue in different ways and how, how you view it. Yeah, as much as it pains me to say this, uh, Elon Musk is 100% correct about this. I think he is too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> this is a moral issue, and it was the, mo the defining moral issue of the pandemic and the left pandemic response. We have a caste system in this society. America has become a country defined by the class divide. If you have a college degree, you are able to work from home and see your home prices yep. skyrocket and keep collecting your, you know, $150,000 a year, working in your pajama bottoms while making the people who kept you alive, who delivered your food and stocked your food and moved it across the country, go out and brave the plague. It is so gross. I, I made this point during COVID, actually. I was talking about the fact, you know, everyone's talking about, oh, work from home, this, this, this. What about all the people who can't? Can't work from yeah. home, either can't afford to work from home or practically because of what they do are not afforded uh, that opportunity. What do you make of this? I think this one's a relatively easy one, and I run a company, and so we had to make this decision ourselves. And but you run a progressive company where the employees will be not the typical Americans. Well, I hear you, but, <laughs> but no, it's, for us, it was just a simple matter of, do you have to be in the studio so hosts like me have to come in? Obviously, yeah. stage crew has to come in. There's no way around that. But we realized, wait, we don't need the sales guys coming in. We don't need the coders coming in. And it turns out you don't even need the editors, graphics, or producers to come in. So it's just a matter of, if you need them to come in, ask them to come in. That's easy. There's no harm in that. But if you don't need them to come in and they're going to be happier or more productive, but you have to have accountability. If you don't have accountability and they're See, just sitting I, at Allie, home, I, no. I think there's just more productivity, and there's no way to necessarily prove this, right? Because yeah. the studies that would be done on this wouldn't be definitive. But I have always found that the, the same way the four of us sitting at a table allows for more interaction than if we were on Zoom right now, right? And we yeah. weren't actually sitting together. And I think that that helps in terms of business. Yeah, I think for the most part it does. It probably depends on a case-by-case -case business basis. Uh, I love that they went to Martha Stewart, though. I don't think octogenarians are very tech-savvy <laughs> and understand the concept of working at home quite as much as our generation. But, uh, yeah, I think each business should be able to decide and each person should be able to request what's best for them. I mean, we figured out during the pandemic that there's a number of things that can work. And I think for businesses, don't you save? on commercial real estate by not yeah. sending people in. I would think that that's yeah. Well, that, I'm work. shocked by Google coming out. I mean, Google, I think of as kind of a, you know, the, the kind of company that's going to get enormous pushback internally, right? Yeah. yeah. Over, over it. But. but Ali's right. The collaboration has real value. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So it's just a judgment call. If you think you need collaboration in your office, yeah, call people back in. There's no harm in that. Yeah. But if there's salespeople that are out in the road all the time anyway, they're not collaborating to begin with. So it's definitely case by case. Not even. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.